Uh, now let's go with materials. And one more other thing to the bottom. It's gonna make it slightly cheaper. Okay, so we can go all the way down to 523 bucks. I would like the final car to cost about 800. So we can sell it for about, say, 1000 bucks. That seems like a good idea. Because look at it, our statistics now are just awful. Safety is fucked up, quality rating fucked up, manufacturing requirements are good, but performance and dependability is awful. Wow, uh, so let's uh, let's keep it as this, and we'll deal with it later on. Now let's go with focus, and we'll focus on designing this car. Now this is definitely going to be focused on nails uh, at 45 to 55, and we'll focus on upper class because these these cars are not cheap. People cannot afford them. Uh, wow, let's go with focuses up on oh, the project time is just insane we'll have this car out in December 1st of December 1904 if we do it like that but yeah it fixed quite a lot of our problems the performance and dependability is still awful but the cargo is better uh, quality rating is better, comfort, everything went up, so I'll just keep it as that. Now, uh, interior, interior. Now, as we're focusing this on upper class of citizens, we can go like so and make it stylish. Let's make it a bit traditional. But actually quite luxurious and comfortable. Safety should be taken into consideration. Technology doesn't need to be yeah, that changes nothing for the sedan, so we'll just skip on that. We have uh, the body materials interior focus is done. Now, testing. Testing is something where we can bump up our um, model rating a bit as well. Uh, demographic marketing will make it just awful and more expensive. I don't even know what this one changes. Extensive demographic testing increases the vehicle's appeal to its target demographic. This testing will make sure that their needs are met before anything else. Okay, well, it's just a month extra. Performance. The style control the performance testing during the testing phase. This will allow the engineers to fine-tune the system for maximum performance. It doesn't really change anything, does it? So let's keep it as it was. Maybe slightly higher. Fuel economy. Uh, that increases the fuel performance. So let's go with that. Comfort testing. Well, that helps a lot with everything. Oh, not everything, but comfort and luxury. This is where it was. Uh, we can bump it up slightly. Wow, the project is now at 300,051 bucks. Jesus Christ. And we're already in 1905 for this. Utilities. Uh, just doesn't really utility testing uh, is to ensure that the vehicle can function well in its work environment. This is more important on commercial vehicles than typical consumer vehicles. Okay, so we can go down with this. Doesn't really matter. And utility testing 
Wait, reliability testing ensures that the vehicle can handle real-world stress for long periods of time. This will increase durability as well as the quality of the vehicle. It actually does. So we'll go up on that. So our estimated unit cost is 545 bucks, which is not bad. Uh, but I like it to be around... I Originally, I wanted some... 700 800 so we still got a lot of uh, place to play with the car design so we could go up with material interior paint and manufacturing techniques okay manufacturing techniques increase the quality and dependability material quality increases probable luxury and safety Okay, so if I went up by how much? 50 bucks? I'm get safety up and fuel down. What about interior? Quality, quality. So in interior just increases quality. Is there an easy way how to bump this up? 654. Wow. Well, we're going up by a significant amount. Paint has no... Paint increases dependability. Oh, that's right, because it, it won't corrode and stuff. Hmm. And manufacturing techniques increase fuel and dependability. Uh, will we manufacture it for 654 bucks? That's a question. That is a question. Uh, if we went all the way down, we would be a hundred bucks cheaper. Hmm. Berlin has some 270, 270, or maybe 280. So the car could still sell for about 800 bucks, I believe. But this is tr a tricky question, Jesus. Hmm. How much are we going to give you? In which are we not going to give you? Actually, you know what? Let's go with this. Uh, this is not all that bad. Performance is awful, but it's quite luxurious, safe. Comfort is not bad. Quality is good. Design requirements and manufacturing techniques. Drivability, fuel, performance, and dependability. Cargo is nice and is going to take forever to complete. So we'll call it the 1905 trim. And let's go. Let's see the ratings. Uh, so it's going to take 14 months to develop. Uh, it's going to cost 505 bucks. It's a sedan. It is two gears or gears. Okay, fuel economy is awful. Performance is good. Drivability is much better and luxury as well. Safety much better. Fuel not that bad. Power is better, cargo is significantly better quality as well, and dependability as well. Overall rating is slightly higher than other cars that we have produced yet. So I think this is not going to be a bad car. Now we have to f survive 14 months um, before it is finished. No, independence. A Pan Panamanian junta. With the help of the United States Navy has taken control of Panama from Colombia. The United States government has prevented the Colombian government from suppressing the rebellion with the Malarino Bidlack Treaty of 1846. The Republic of Panama has been recognized as the new nation of Panama. Panama City is the capital. And economic recession. Okay. So now let's see how we're going to survive this. The project it will be quite expensive, but if we make at least a bit of cash, uh, we should end up being good. So let's end. And we are losing money. Quite a lot of money. We're selling the vehicles though, so... It's going to take 14 months, so that's about 280,000 bucks lost oh jeez that's not good that is not good 
Uh, we'll start selling this car only in Berlin original and see if it sells. Wow. Okay, this is much better. 7,000 bucks in loss. New vehicle type available. New vehicle body available. Double duo. For a sedan, come on, we just designed it. Oh uh, man, new component design. The idea for a new drivetrain design called FF has been designed by researchers. Luckily, our research team believes you're ready to start using it in our vehicles. Cool. Monthly losses, new racing series. Oh, that's another thing I could show you. There's actually a racetrack. You can put your cars on the racetrack and fund the team. And that increases your prestige and improves um, the overall uh, brand of your cars. I actually never tried it before, but once we design a sport car, we'll once we have enough profit, we will design a sport car, just like a luxury car, sport car. We're not going to produce it en masse, but we will produce it somewhere and sell it. And this car will also be used for our racetracks, so we're going to go for it. And I wanted to see how the new sedan type car looks, because it could be a nice sedan. Actually, let's check the full size sedan. I just wanted to see what it looks like. So then it should be okay, so we had the Berlin as well. There's Berlin Max. Oh it's quite bigger. That is quite bigger. Uh let's not do that and I want to see the sedan. what the new one looks like. Double duo. Actually this is not better looking. I like our original design more. Though it might be slightly more modern I guess. But yeah. Let me use the one we have. It's a good car. It is a good car. So yeah let's and the turn. Let's go with uh, three more turns so that we speed the things up a bit. Okay, we definitely didn't lose that much money. We're still at 321,000 bucks. Monthly losses, monthly losses. We lost 19,000, 4,000, and 15,000. Okay, so we're going up and down depending on our production, but that's to be expected. Uh, wait, let's check the newspapers. Merger. Michigan Motors has agreed to be purchased by Espanol Suzer for wow, 3,559,600 and... F wait, actually it's 35,596,500 and 0 dollars. Espanol Suzer believes that this merger will provide their customers with an even better assortment of products and services. Wow, that's expensive. Japanese defeat, Russian Navy. And then there's the independence. Okay, cool. Let's go with... Wait, how long will it take to develop that new car? And we'll have to set things up. Nine more months. Okay. Let's go with three more months. And see how we're doing. Oh, wow, this has hit us. Quite hard, 262,000 bucks. Minus 25,000, minus 15,000, minus 16,000. What the hell is happening here? Wow, we have no reserves for Francisca and we have 671 cars for the Red Fox. What the hell happened? So we're selling all of the Franciscas and we're selling none of the Red Foxes. So we have to make a slight adjustment here. Uh, three Red Foxes, so let's go down to two production lines and assign the extra line to Francisca. Actually, no way, that's too much. Okay, like so. And I think we should go down with the price on the Red Fox slightly. 
I'm sure I want to wait a month and see what that does. Okay, 14,000. And we sold 61 red foxes. And 76 Franciscas. Uh, wow, we're selling two little cars. That's not good. That's not really good. We, we're not doing that fine. 694 Global Reserve and 51 Francisco. I could stop the production and make it uh, so that we just sell uh, the cars that we are currently having, but I don't think that's such a good idea. How many months left till the car is produced? Five months. So even at a big loss, we can still wait it out. So let's just go with uh, three more months and see what's happening. <laughs> 